All right, let's do a few brief examples of transformations. So our original function, that is going to be y equals 2 to the power of x. All right, that's going to be our original function. And then see if you can match each of these transformations with one of my answers, okay? I'm going to write answers A, B, C, and D, and I'm going to state how these functions trans transform from this one here. All right, so see if you can match A, B, C, and D with um, these four examples, one, two, three, and four. All right, number one. We started with y equals 2 to the x, and we have a negative sign right there. So if we put a negative sign in front of this whole thing, that means that you negate, you negate y. You change the plus minus sign on y. When you negate the y or multiply the y times negative 1, it reflects over the x-axis. It's the opposite. So that's going to be answer B. Number two, we started with y equals 2 to the x, and now we have y equals 2 to the negative x. Okay, so we negated the x. In other words, we multiplied x by negative 1. We changed the plus minus sign on x. When you negate the x, it reflects over the y-axis. It's reversed. So again, this is answer A. All right, so good review. When you multiply y by negative 1, it reflects over the x. When you multiply x by negative 1, it reflects over the y. All right, number three. We did plus 1 on the x. Remember, when you add to the x, it reverses. So instead of going right, I know that right is positive on the x. Instead of going right, it goes to the left when you add to the x. So this makes it left one unit, and that is answer C. And finally, 2 to the x, and then we do minus 3 on the 2 to the x. That makes it go 3 units down. So that is answer D. All right, so the transformations for an exponential function, it's the same thing as we've learned in the past, even without the exponents.